Over the past few years, LEGO has made several sets for different music groups. We had some British rock, British pop, more British rock, The King, and whatever this is. But there's definitely something missing. There's no heavy metal. Now you might be thinking that Lego and metal don't really mesh too well together. But did you know studies have found that heavy metal can actually be beneficial to your mental health? Listening to so-called angry music can help one process their feelings, resulting in less stress and a greater well-being. Participants in a study even showed lowered blood pressure and slower heart rates compared to other genres. So with that being said, let's bust out some colorful plastic bricks, turn our speakers up to 11, and let the catharsis begin. Now I'll admit I'm not actually the biggest metalhead myself and mainly listen to thrash, groove, and classic metal. So if I'm going to make a metal Lego mock, I thought what's better than recreating one of the best metal albums of all time, Metallica's Master of Puppets. That's the song in the season 4 finale of Stranger Things for the younger crowd out there. Not only is this a classic album jam packed with so many great songs, it has some really cool cover art that I thought would be perfect to recreate in LEGO. I actually built this a few months ago for Brick Rodeo, but I ran out of time to make a video before the convention. Normally I'd tear it apart and rebuild it for you, but these strings are tricky to get just right, so I'll just show you the completed mock. For the backdrop, I went with a more minimalistic approach. Originally I tried some pixel art with 1x1 plates for the clouds, but it didn't look good. So instead I imitated the style from the recent Tales of the Space Age LEGO idea set. I think the alternating lines of color look great, and are still fairly representative of the source material. And then I added a couple of supports around back, just so it doesn't easily get knocked over. The red hands are definitely bigger in my mock, but they're a pretty important component, and I think they turned out great. Each finger has two knuckle joints, and there's a small thumb up top. All of the master strings attach to the backsides of the fingers and go down to all the cross graves below. There are two 21 length strings and all the rest are the common 11 length ones. The hardest part of the mock was figuring out where each of the strings should attach. You have to tweak the angle of the fingers here and there as well as rotate the strings connection studs to take up some slack. But once all the strings are taut, it looks pretty awesome. The base has 15 white cross graves to which the strings attach to the backside. I don't know if you noticed, but I positioned the crosses in a forced perspective arrangement. Each row gets slightly higher as they go back, and the columns get angled out as you go from the middle to the sides. I hoped this detail would help represent the seemingly endless number of crosses on the album cover. In between all the graves, I had lots of olive green plant pieces to make up the overgrown and forgotten graveyard. And I even included a couple of small details here in the front. There are the dog tags hanging on the center grave, and an army helmet on the one to the left. Finally, I added a large M for the Metallica logo in between the two hands. The whole band name wouldn't fit here, so I just recreated Metallica's M logo, and I think it turned out pretty good. I've been thinking about this mock for some time now, and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out, and it's sure to fill that heavy metal hole in your LEGO collection. If you're interested, I made instructions for this mock on Rubricable. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.